It's time to do it with you. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about minimalism, minimalist workouts. So this is basically a term I put towards a very high effect, but very short duration workout, very simple and to the point workouts. So uh, this is very important in my opinion because of how busy people are nowadays. And the biggest excuse being that people don't have enough time to train. And uh, this has been on my mind, especially this year since I read a book called Essentialism, which is the discipline of doing less, but better. So this is a concept I want to apply to my training. And especially when it comes to people being exposed to so many convoluted, complex training programs, and they think to get any effect from their training, it has to be far out and, and complicated and uh, some sort of circus act. But to the contrary, if you pick very effective compound movements that hit all of the major muscle groups in the body, you can get a lot of great results from training very intensely with very short duration workouts. So today we're training at Striation 6. It's my buddy's club here in Toronto. You gotta check out this place before we get started. Oh yeah. Lots of power racks to infinity. Tons of dumbbells. Uh, ignore that, it's a cardio arena. But over here, a little bit of a playground. Check out this toy. Oh yeah, ropes. Copious amounts of chin-up bars, handles. Let's get down to the workout. So the three exercises I selected for this workout are the deadlift, the pull-up, and the parallel dip. Three awesome exercises. I'm gonna be doing them in a strength circuit, performing about five rounds of six to eight repetitions, starting off here with a warm-up set. The granddaddy of all exercises, the deadlift. Moving on to a pull-up, and this is a pretty cool machine they have here at this gym. One of the handles here actually slides, allowing you to get a nice full range of motion, creating a more natural arc during your pull-up, uh, which was pretty challenging. And as you can see here, uh, it's already my second set and I'm fatiguing and my form is caving in here. Getting pretty sloppy, but still trying to squeeze out those repetitions. I gotta be honest, uh, my back is pretty fried already. Moving on to the parallel bar dip, aiming for a good full range of motion. Nice, tricky, centric, pausing at the bottom. Focusing on the squeeze, the contraction of every repetition. Try not to bounce these repetitions out. Again, keeping in the six to eight repetition range. Felt like I had quite a bit left in me on this set, so I'm gonna be looking to add some resistance on the last couple of sets here. Now coming back around to the deadlift, adding a little bit of weight to the bar, focusing on keeping my form strict. I'm keeping the rest intervals under two minutes in this circuit, which given the demand of these exercises, gets pretty challenging by like your third or fourth round. Now it's time for a little bit of liquid motivation with the Super Freak pre-workout. Oh yeah, now we're moving on, fast forwarding to the final round of my strength circuit, adding some resistance to the pull-up. Now they didn't have a chin dip belt here to add weight to, so I uh, improvised with one of their heavy jump stretch bands and threw a kettlebell on that. And uh, my buddy here at the gym was just waiting for me to slingshot myself in the old rod and tackle, but it actually worked out okay and I hit fatigue pretty quick, and then dropping the weight and finishing off the set with a couple of reps as a drop set. Using the same band and kettlebell to add some resistance to the dip here, really forcing me to keep things strict and slow. Uh, if I were to speed this up and uh, start bouncing these reps out, it could definitely turn out pretty bad for the family jewels. But this little bit of added weight was just right to help me finish off the circuit. Could have probably added a little bit more, but as I hit fatigue here, uh, I dropped the weight and then uh, did do a few extra repetitions as a drop set to fatigue as well. And I threw in one more set of deadlifts just because I love the deadlift. Wanted to add a little bit of weight to the bar and squeeze out a few extra repetitions here to finish things off. Focusing on locking in those lats and 
driving the floor away, pausing at the bottom of each rep, and maintaining continuous tension throughout the pull. I hope this gives you some ideas for putting together your own minimalist workouts. I suggest picking a big compound lower body movement like a deadlift or squat, combining it with a big push and pull movement for the upper body. Until next time, train smart, stay strong.